Let's take a look. So it's two versus two, guys. Versus two, versus two. So over here we have the face hole, Tosa Senpai, Protoss Zerg. Up here we have double Protoss, Saltosis, and uh, Hero Chatneys. <laughs> over here we have Avalok and Champ in the Chat. <laughs> Vengeful Noob and Burrito Bowl. Wait, do we have no Terran? Oh, these guys are silly. There's no Terran. I'll make cans for us, you go carrier. <laughs> you should let him have both casts on if that's what they're going to do. These crack corners are island. Our islands. Double gas at all of them. And then the center is Arbo. You know, uh, the weakness of Terran in 2 vs. 2 is because it's hard to travel to your ally. Uh, because Marines are really weak at the beginning of the game. This map undoes that. So on a map like this, Terran is probably the strongest in 2 vs. 2. You probably wouldn't want to go double Terran, but I think Terran would be a good play here. So, I like that second hatch, actually. I really like that. That's cool. Actually, I think I'd like it more right there, but that's okay. Look at this. A single zealot come in. <laughs> Comes in. Wrecking face. These guys, three hatch, plus some zealots. Just random cannons all over the place. Oh, this is funny. Look how droppable that is. Rob, what's up, man? Thanks for gifting sub, buddy. Hope you're doing well. I'm just watching a two versus two versus two versus two right now. The guys in the chat. Oh, God. Some zealots. I don't think this is the right team to attack. They have like a lot of zealots, plus they're making cannons. I guess they don't have that many cannons up, though. No, oh, pull back to the cannons! No! Let's see what's going on over here. Use zealots.
guy seems to have the best production so far. This side seems to be doing all right. Oh, damn, that's a lot of Zealots. <laughs> what are we... Oh, okay. <laughs> I was going to say, how many people have Zealots here? This team, I think, is actually doing pretty well. Let's see here. Oh, it was there. Thanks for gifting three subs. No, I think left is all right. Left is doing fine. They have good enough defense. Oh, damn. 12 is in trouble. I guess that's what they get for sending all their units to another base. Champ in the chat has been very busy coming up with strategies and plans for this game. lot of units, huh? So if these guys get two more bases, they should be at the advantage. These guys are still doing pretty well. I think these two quietly are like... I like how many cannons that they have. They're so safe. And look, there's a ton of minerals in these patches. Damn, I guess, I guess these all started at like 4k? This side is deciding that they want to talk, attack 12 o'clock. Little do they know. <laughs> the damage has been dealt. <laughs> 10,000 gas! This is crazy. They should both build a nexus up there. This guy is almost dead. His few cannons in good building place when you're holding on for him. <laughs> they don't know how to ally chat. Pretty reasonable army coming up. You know, these guys have done all the work killing 12. I think this these two might uh, take that base over. But I think purple... Look, taking this base, this is insanity. How much... How many resources are here? <laughs> By GME, GG. The memes... GG. GG, guys. First team is out. This is kind of a cool map for the tubers, too, I feel like. Oh, 
this is hilarious. Randomly some Corsairs coming up. Oh god, that's annoying. <laughs> Yeah, Burrito Bowl, as it is wont to do, <laughs> is going to win this. Look at this. Mass Reaver, Mass Cannon. What beats that? Like a Defiler, sure, but, you know. Lurkers, okay. Slow down quite a bit. That blue is trying to, to uh, expand at the corner. <laughs> you can just put a zealot on top of these and kill them with the reaver shots. Very simple. Oh, this is so funny. This is a StarCraft 2 player right here, the face hole. That shield battery isn't gonna do shit. <laughs> it doesn't heal buildings. <laughs> Why can't I select that? Oh, that was so weird. Thinks he's gonna get him. He's not. Well, these guys don't know what they're in for if they're gonna attack six o'clock. Look at how many cannons! <laughs> Look how long distance the mining is! Yeah, I think purple red are doing great. Which is, it's so funny though, because these two like did all the work this game. <laughs> and these two are benefiting from the work that these two did. And then these two are just sitting here turtling, building their own stuff. My game isn't clicking well. If it's down in this area, it doesn't click. That's interesting. The bottom of the screen is not clicking in an observer match. See? Can't, can't just click. You have to drag select. Very weird. This is so funny to me still. This would be a great layout in StarCraft 2. You hold off anything with this right here. <laughs> Watch this, it's so funny. <laughs> Never! Never! <laughs> they are invincible! Purple and red are not going to die. It's just, how will they do when they attack? They're going like, they have like a carrier, but a million reavers. A heavy mute. Yeah, 
Yeah, these guys are dominating. Not sure what they think they're gonna do. Eh. Like, maybe you can... Does that kill one carrier? Yeah, I guess it kills, like, one carrier. Not anymore. These guys do have a sick economy as well. Is this just going to turn into everyone going flying units? <laughs> what are they going to do with this many Reavers? Look how many Robos he has! One, two, three, four, five? Five Robos. Jesus. It's not going to do so well when the whole map is just flying units. If he attacked right now, just attack mood with his, his Reavers, he could kill all of this, all of this, those... All of this, all of this. Mm. He couldn't quite kill everything on the map by himself, but close. I just want to see the Reavers move, man. That's how this game's going to get decided. These guys need Nidus's too, by the way. Champ in the chat taking the center. It's like all minerals. <laughs> Is he just going to make so many Zerglings? There's a lot of room to build here. This is not going to work. So silly. Honestly, though, they could kill, like, any base. Oh, look at this. Not the best observer, turns out. What's 27 times 150? It's 4,050. Alright. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. So, what's 46 times 150? He spent 6,900 minerals on cannons so far this game. <laughs> his macro's sick with the cannons, though, right? He's keeping his minerals really low. Hey, it's time, guys. Look at this army! Look at this insane, insane army! You know what's going to happen? Is all these zealots are going to blow up from the scarabs. That's what's going to happen. Yeah, they really do need to go there. They need to go kill some people. I love that he has plus three plasma shields. But only plus one weapons.
Pull these back! Alright, this is where this is where it's gonna get crazy. Burrito Bowl is maxed out on Reaver Dragoon. <laughs> I like that the Zealots are staying back. I think he might be doing that by accident, but it's helping. Oh, that is a lot of carriers. Holy crap, the carriers actually might be able to clear everything. Oh, I heard a defiler. It's all over. This game's getting crazy. Scout Muta. Now that's a composition. Scout Scourge Muta. I heard you never wanted to kill anything on the ground. <laughs> Holy crap. Plus two attack Corsairs against plus zero armor Muta. Well, I guess plus one just finished. Poor Reavers. They need to get under that Dark Swarm ASAP. <laughs> Is he actually... He's saving his Reavers. Meanwhile, Mr. Scoutman taking down some carriers. I like it. Hey, does Champ in the chat, the Blue Zerg, deserve this much, this many resources? Truly? Alright, time to attack again. <laughs> Damn! Burrito Bowl! It's so funny, Dark Storm doesn't do anything against this, really. I guess if you target all the all the Reavers. Watch Reaver Goon kill a like gigantic Zerg plus mass carrier. Is that a thing? It might be. Oh my god. He has killed so much. Yeah, he should be he should be targeting on Reavers, I think. So the Zerg units can come out and actually do something. Like Zerg units would kill all these goons. It's the Reavers that are wrecking everything, truly. My god. 125 damage splash scarabs. Now he's turning down the carriers! What's he gonna make with his five robos now? Red Devil donated three dollars and thirty-three cents. You know, Atosis, these chapters are amazing. It's not every day that you see Reaver slash Goon slash Corsairs wrecking Hydras and Mass Carrier. 
What a day to be alive. I know, right? Thanks for the tip, man. <laughs> this one's actually surprisingly fun. It's the first time we've done like a two versus two free for all. We accidentally did a four versus four once, but uh, a, a two versus two free for all. This is the first time. The map is pretty cool for it. It's, it's pretty entertaining, I would say. There's some cool stuff going on. Like, look at this. You don't see stuff like this very often. This is how StarCraft was meant to be played, guys. <laughs> Truly. This is how it was meant to be played by the guys who made it. Games like this. Just madness everywhere. Ooh, the dark swarms. Sorry, he's making Reavers. The Zealots are 0-0. Zero, zero. Oh, I guess the Lings are actually plus 0 attack. Their Carapace doesn't matter. Okay, so this team over here, white and blue. Okay, white's dead. Poor white. But blue is actually still in it. Like, really actually could win the game still. Look at this. He's Nidusing to the center. <laughs> I love it. I want blue to win alone now. It's funny because the, like, if he wins, you got to give props to white because the white carriers saved him for a long time to be able to get this much. And that's what I was talking about. Like, does he deserve all these bases? Shouldn't white Protoss have some of these? Insane game. 3 2 2, 1 3 1. Definitely better upgrades on the Zealots. He's got the Reavers coming. Gotta rebuild some of these cannons. God, I love StarCraft. Even stuff like this is so much fun. This is making me want to play this. <laughs> Just listening to all these thoughts die to the mass cannon. Oh my god. Oh my god. Blue has top left. <gasps> he might be able to win alone. Wait, who is blue? Is blue? Did you say blue is Gypsy? There's no way. No. I know some of these guys are Smurfs, but... Blue is Gypsy? Huh. Well, if it is, he actually... I'm even more convinced he might be able to win because he's actually taking over everything. Like, 172 supply right now. Sick upgrades, full tech, tons of hatches. Tons of minerals. Red, though, taking over this space. I love it. Purple supporting him with this Dragoon. <laughs> And blue is, like, blue is so hidden away, I think people don't realize that he's actually the most dangerous. <laughs> Purple and red are still pretty dangerous. Red's economy is not super hot. Blue's is still solid. Look at this, 5k gas, my god. Now blue getting in here and mi mixing it up a little bit. I love it. Mass cloak scouts. Now I've seen everything. 
You see this? You can't hit these. They're under Dark Swarm. Look at this. It's like three units under Dark Swarm killing a whole army. Never have Protosses and Zergs actually felt this. Look at how many drones. Oh my god. Okay. Okay. I don't even... <laughs> this is going to have the craziest ending this game. Look at this. We're just massing Zealots over here. Heal's going to remake his base. So Zealot Scout Arbiter. I can't find fault. I like the comp. I do. Very mobile. Strong. Counters air and land. And this guy's on mass muters, but they're only 1-1 one, one is the problem. Everyone's upgrades are getting really good at this point. Like, look at this. Mass Corsair is a plus 2 attack and plus 2 armor. I think first thing I'd target here would probably be Nidus's. Just target the Nidus's down to, to control the situation, I guess. Does he not have Plague? I haven't seen a Plague yet. Oh god, top left dying now too. 333 three, three Scouts. I love it. 333 three, three Mass Scout. It's the way the game should be played. Blue is going to attack again, isn't he? <laughs> he's he's being attacked everywhere. Losing bases, but still attacking. While defending against four players. Scouts are coming. But if you have Plague, Dark Swarm, and Hydras, you can just wreck this. Or just Hydras, that works too. They are Scouts, for God's sake. Only two on upgrades here so far. Recall your Zealots! No! Not that! Oh my god. It's a Stasis to Bengalus. I've never seen that! Look at that! Twenty-two years later, still seeing things for the first time. Brand new stuff. Okay, this is not working. Holy crap. Oh my god, purple's coming back. Look at his army this time. He's got Archons in there. Oh, this is the deadest stuff I've ever seen. Watch how quickly this stuff dies. Go back to your Reavers. Oh my god. Oh, it's gonna be brutal. Come on. Wait for the Reavers. Stasis the Reavers. No? Okay. My god, that was fast. Orange is taking a lot right now. He'll take a beating over here. Don't forget, this is only minerals in here. It's hard to win a game with just minerals. Not the most important bases. It's good, obviously, right? It's clearly good. It's clearly something you do want, but like... You can make spores, spine, sunks, 
Okay, spores, sunks, and lings, basically. Okay, teal is almost dead. Blue trying to take down the orange bases on the right, his old base. <laughs> Okay, so there seems to be a misunderstanding here. Enemy units under Dark Swarm can't be hit by ranged either. So the Hydras are actually doing nothing to units that are under there. You know, playing in an Archon, it's basically like a tattoo. Like, it barely hurts and it makes it look cooler. You better believe it, man. Thanks for the tip. I appreciate it. <laughs> this is a this is a particularly interesting and fun one. I wonder if uh, two versus two free for alls are actually like a thing we should do more often. Because this game is this game is delivered. There's some crazy things that have been happening. My two favorite storylines are. The blue Zerg taking everywhere, and his poor partner having died, and then Mr. Reaver over here with 69 cannons. Nice. Okay, so Orange is actually losing his mate. But he has a lot elsewhere, but not a ton of bank. He needs to make a round of drones. <laughs> actually, I see that he has Greater Spire. <laughs> Guardians are good against this. Guardians are actually pretty decent against Archons. Oh, this is not the way. This is not the way. This is not the way. 12 Hydras don't kill this. This is the way, right here. <laughs> the face hole comes back, pushes him away, saves the most important building Zerg has. Archons can still beat that, can they? You know, I told, uh, I told the story before, so forgive me, but this is reminding me when I first started playing, of course I was playing like BGH and BGH Islands, I noticed all the Protoss players were going uh, mass carriers, and I was like, no man, I'm going mass Archons, that's where it's at. I figured it out. Okay, he's actually almost killed these, Ar these carriers. Run! <laughs> Storm! Dead. Storm! Oh, they just barely won! Crazy! And now the mutants come in to clear out. In the meantime, <laughs> I think this was offensive Nidus. You can build a Nidus on other people's creep. That is crazy. I'll just make more. <laughs> he does have five Robos. Damn. Break the blue base. Oh, I think he's talking about this. Oh, look at this. Okay. Damn, this is not bad. Okay, how many carriers? Eight carriers with plus three. The Zealots aren't very well upgraded, but they'll do fine, I think, because there'll probably be Dark Swarms thrown down. Not bad. Red is actually not mining right now. Red needs to take a base. Look at how much blue is mining, by the way. Almost 6k. Mass spore. Little a little little hidden hatchery with Ninuses to send his army down to attack this area. 
I love it. Oh, he's actually almost out over here. I'm busy attacking. Where are you attacking, bro? I need to take their bases. Let Red take a base, for God's sake. <laughs> he needs one terribly badly. These guys abandoning their teammates. Yeah, Blue could win. Blue could win. These guys are still kind of in it. Teal Orange. Look at this. He's actually literally expanding right next to this Zerg base. This is wild. Alright, we got we got Ling Carrier coming in. That's the comp. Ling Carrier. Okay, Archon Dragoon. Purple gonna take all the bases. Blue is being attacked everywhere, man. <laughs> Look, he just popped a ton of units out to try to fight this. And then he's being attacked over here. He's losing this base, yeah. This one lurker, though, is going to get a lot of kills, I think. I don't think there's an observer in here. Light carriers. Nice. Alright, 12 kills. Probably all Zeloths so far. Alright, finally these guys have cleared Blue's menace on the map. So, now Blue doesn't actually have any buildings on the main, the main ground of the map. So he can't really, like, send, send anything through Nidus like he was doing before. Looks like we got a little counterattack coming up. Okay, so red actually cleared down here completely. Teal going for it. That doesn't help buildings. Ooh, the Hydras. Yeah, he's going to lose all these. He's got to get out of here. Red still needs a Nexus, by the way. We're still cheering for Red to make a Nexus. We've got to wait for the creep to go away first. Time for Purple to unally Red. <laughs> Imagine those scarabs, damn. We need plague. Oh, well, that works too, yeah. Oops. Three shuttles, all plagued. <laughs> Bringing up the reinforcing pylons. I agree with Burrito Bowl. I think with him taking this area, if Red just holds here, how can anything beat them? By the way, I do want to point out... Hey, look, he used, the, he used the shield battery. It did come in useful. Look at that. I love it. But, uh... I want to mention that this was not their original bases. These two were originally down here. And these two originally got rushed from the guys up here. And then they rushed back at the same time as these two that went up here. Now, these two, the white one is dead, and the blue one is the Zerg in the corners. So, the only guys that have actually kept their bases this game are... Well, like, yeah, these two. <laughs> That's it, red and purple. Because they started with a very defensive strat. Like, they just made a ton of... This guy made a ton of cannons. This guy made a ton of zealots. They had a plan. Five Robo Reaver. One Stargate Carrier. Good to go. Unbeatable.
Does he not have a defiler mound? I think he does not. Center's an island. Oh, it is. It's walled. Yes, guys. That is correct. We finally figured it out. Only 45 minutes in. Yeah, he's remaking his defiler mound. That's why the carriers are doing well against him. You need defilers. Okay, this is gonna... This is gonna take pressure off of blue. Purple attacking. Oh, God! Look, he was trying to sneak a base for Nidus's. <laughs> I love it! Gets caught! 3-3-3 three, 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 Archon Goon. That's insane. And Reaver. So now blue gets to rest some because this guy's getting ready to attack up here. Yeah, I have no idea if this will ever end. I don't mind, though. Sometimes I get annoyed when the free for go for like 45 minutes an hour because it's like, attack each other! But this has been non-stop, so this is good stuff. Queens now, okay. Some stasis is going down. Oh my god. Pretty insane stasis. He's gonna lose his whole army. Hey, if you parasite a drone and it turns into a building, the parasite goes away, right? I don't think that's ever come up for me. Oh, oh, oh! Oh, red! Okay, red. This is this was not the move. Guys in the chat, I need to know who's actually going to win this game. Who, uh, what team is going to win? Is it going to be orange teal, blue white? Oh, white's gone, but still, he was part of the team effort. Or uh, purple red? It's actually, it could be anybody right now. Like, look, orange has taken a ton of bases, and look at how many arbiters and carriers. We call this the finger of God, because <laughs> it kills anything it touches. He's got eight arbiters, and he's got ten carriers. And mass defiler. Like, you should favor them, but purple has now made... I want to say he's made 200 cannons this game. Somewhere in that vicinity. He's also made at least 100 reavers. Blue has done this, and this, and this. Dude, this is crazy. Thing is, Teal has been looking really good now, but if he's attacking into this... It's like, well, Dark Swarm, you can have one Hydra in here. It's not going to die, right? Look, he literally, he has one Hydra in there. It'll sit there all day, as long as Dark Swarm's up. For those of you who are StarCraft II players, think about if Microbial Shroud was completely broken instead of garbage. He is literally stasising Hydras. This is so funny. Actually, I think a queen could be really good for blue. Like, in Snare here? It, like, detects and stuff? Maybe you want to throw some Parasites down or something? I could see some good usage. Oh, maybe Devourers over here? 
Yeah. He's only got one, two upgrades on him, though. But Stasis could be really good against them, too. Stasis is just one of those things that's good against every single thing in the whole game. Just like Defilers. Red is back up mining really well. One, one, one upgrades. He just won't upgrade his ground units. We're 50 minutes in, man. Get those upgrades done, please. All right, carriers here. Look at this. You've never seen this. Oh, this is crazy. Hydra drop with queens against the Devourer base? <laughs> what am I looking at? Why are Devourers killing Overlords? Well, Dark Swarm's going down in Hydra versus Hydra. What is this? A mass plague over here. Looks like red is going to clear out orange's base to the side while he's attacking up here. The carrier armada is coming back. Coming to help. Oh, these are all plagued. I forgot about that. He got plagued earlier. Yeah, this is a this is a box art game is what this is. Yeah, that's too good. Look at that. That's too good. You gotta have your own recall ready to get them out of there. <laughs> okay, so... There's still a lot of money on the map. I'm getting chills while I watch this right now. Because it's so insane. Normally I know who's gonna win a game like long ahead of time. But I really feel like it could be any team here. Oh my god, they gotta go home to save this base. He's not gonna have anything left. Target the defiler. Oh, or just walk it into the sunk. Nice. Oh, the scouts are targeting Archons. That is the last thing you want. All right, here come... <laughs> oh, my God. Ensnared stasis carriers being attacked by other carriers and Hydras. All right. Yeah, so... Tosa Senpai here, the orange, I think, has taken so much damage. He, like, lost all of his overlords, so it's going to take him, like, forever to refill that. But he's still got defilers to go with mass carrier of his teammate. But Teal is not mining very much. His, his mineral patches are drying up. Oh, damn. Red coming for the kill. Okay, I think Teal, I think Teal and orange are going to be eliminated. Then it's going to be blue against purple and red. Look at this, this is three different teams here fighting.
Yeah, he snuck another hatch to put his Nidus at. Nice. Mass Devour, 3-3. Three, three. Nice. More hatches. All right. What? I don't even know whose spells are whose here. So is that teal versus purple versus blue? <laughs> purple wins! Woo! Yeah, look at the mineral bank here. Champ in the chat has so much income mineralized. And actually decent gas still, honestly. Even, well, I guess if it's, uh, if they're all depleted, which they shouldn't be, because I believe they're 10k gas each. That's still like one geyser. Yeah, I think they are. They have, they have like nothing left here. A few zealots. Scout, what does Zerg have? Let's get some lings here. It looks like he's gonna do one final attack on blue, maybe? There's actually very little defense here for blue. He's got he's got seven lings, a defiler, and two mutas as anti-ground defense. So this attack, if he doesn't get units back up here super fast, it could clear the base. Like if these are oh one only one attack upgrade, but they probably have the crackling upgrade. Oh, we switched into scouts over here. No speed upgrade for the scouts. Uh-oh. This is a good catch. Go, go, go. This is your chance. Yeah, there's very little here, guys. Very little. Some revenge is going down right now. Oh, Archon Storm against Devourers! Oh my god! But look, he's gonna lose his base! No more Spire! Does he have a Spire over here? He does not! Look at this, the Archon's waiting underneath. It's like the uh, the old school Archon toilet here. <laughs> Purple clearing some of the spores. Damn. Carving his way in right now. If he recalled it, is Archon Army in here? I think Blue pretty much dies. By attacking with only air, it kind of gives him some time to recover. Yeah, this is starting to look to me like uh, it's it's going to be purple and red. One last attack and I'm out. Okay. Yeah, well, they can't attack here because this is cannon land. Blue's trying to take some bases down here. I don't know about this. This is not working. <laughs> this is not working for poor Teal. Teal was a fighter this game. We'll remember him fondly. GG the face hole. 
GG Tosa Senpai. Okay, guys. We are down to purple and red against blue. I mean, purple has so much. I don't know how you're going to end up winning this game. I don't believe we have a Spire. Yeah, it's being remade there. But his gas is so low. Right? He's got 150 gas. It's not enough. Ah, he's trying to take these bases. Okay. I, I feel like I would go... Like, spores here? Try to knight us everything I have down and just go mass spore ling to try to hold on while getting more gas. But this is a lot of units coming, man. They are actually pretty much out of minerals. Burrito Ball has a huge bank. Vengeful Noob is really low. And there's very little left on the map for resources. There's these bases here. Top left. In the center. And that's... Yeah, that's it. So those are the only places to fight over. So this is like the main base to fight over, it seems. That is a scary army. That is cost efficiency. <laughs> Oof. Oof! <laughs> and here come the scouts to clear it up. Well, there's nothing up here anyways. Oh, he finally did it. He recalled in. So he should be able to clear this. I guess that takes the ground army out of the equation. Can you send everything through Nidus's out here and take this area? Because that's, that's the last part of the map that matters other than the top left, I guess. If you're losing this, especially. Time to burp to expand some more. It's too busy clearing the right-hand side of the map. I'm having a first shuttle and a nexus. Oh my god. Honestly, if you clear this carrier squad, you can win this game as blue. It's tough, though. It's tough to clear. <gasps> Go! Go! Alright, Red has spent his remaining minerals on this Nexus. Needs to keep that alive. Oh, that's scary as hell. These Archons. Oh, those can wreck everything here. Except for the one lurker. <laughs> oh, pull those mutas back. Throw the lurk, throw the lurk. Well, they're going to kill everything before they die, though. Cracklings are pretty good, huh? My god. Oh no, that's... 
Well, I don't know. I guess so. <laughs> oh, it's not under the storm, apparently. Wise, this is the best place on the map right now. This being second. Red really needs a shuttle. Ooh! You don't see battles like this every day. Okay, well I guess I guess uh, the Protoss units won. <laughs> a lot of acid spores there. He needed like a lot more. He needed like a, twenty more mutas. It's true. Scout is a good unit, it just costs too much. Hey, maybe he can eliminate red, and then it's like a one on one kinda, right? Because red doesn't even have a shuttle, so if like you kill all this. Red's kind of dead. Okay, so this this ba base is gone. All the tech. Oh, GG. Okay, we have a winner. Burrito Bowl and Vengeful Noob. Purple and red have taken it down. Damn, that was a crazy game. That was crazy.